engine velocity riding today on a very foggy morning trying to figure out if I'm going to be able to actually make a motor vlog because I'm uh, having a hard time seeing out of my helmet much less having time to concentrate on uh, talking in a motor vlog but I'm going to try I did bring a piece of cloth in my pocket so that I could wipe the motorcycle helmet but it looks like it's all on the inside so I'm going to have to open it I'm not going to open it all the way but I'll open it some of the way so that I can uh, at least see <laughs> and what makes it the worst is the ground is wet so it makes me super worried because you know how I am with wet, wet ground and all that stuff oh man Yeah, there was no way that I was gonna ride, try to moto vlog, wipe my helmet, and at the same time also uh, try not to hit cars. There was a four car pileup in front of me and I wasn't gonna try to attempt to keep riding and concentrate like that. I just wanted to be safe. Remember, my injury is still fresh. So here I am and I gotta think of what I need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take five comments from random videos within the last few days and go ahead and answer them in my vlog. Um, it could be anything. Who knows? It could be anyone. It could be a new user. It could be a troll. I just grabbed five of them uh, and decided to make some answers. So here we go with comment number one. And the first question is from Smallbore Two Wheels, or the first comment. He says, I have my mic behind my cheek pad to reduce wind noise. I ended up just zip tying the adapter to the elbow part that holds the GoPro up. Now, that's in reference to, uh, I got that new GoPro mic adapter, which is a giant box and the rubbery material, like nothing sticks to it. Uh, and then where I placed the mic, it was super windy. So just so you know, small bore two wheels, I actually put the mic in the cheek pad right here, kind of close to where my eye is, and it seems to work good. That's why I was running with it this morning, so if you see the first part of the video, you can tell that maybe it sounds a little bit better. I finally just used a really big piece of Velcro and left it on there with a book on top of it overnight to kind of get it to stick. Uh, we'll see if it stays, but yeah, that's the first comment. All right, and the next comment I have is from Rosie Townsend. And it says, Cherry Scooter Bro, edited. I just started, I just recently started watching your videos and enjoy them very much. And I'm also interested in one for myself. So I ask you a question. Are you talking about a ruckus or is there another scooter that you had in mind? Uh, you can also comment below as to the situation that you're in with a scooter like what type of roads, urban, suburban, how fast do you need to go, what's the fastest speed limit, what kind of traffic are you have to deal with, and maybe we can make some suggestions. I wanted to know if your friend Buzzy has a YouTube channel as well. The reason being is that I'm also a big dude, and seeing how his scooter pushes him, no problem. I know his experience and knowledge, he and yourself would be a great help to me. Big time, exclamation points, exclamation, exclamation. That is very true. Buzzy is super knowledgeable with ruckuses. Um, I could help too. Most of mine is just experience. Uh, but no, he doesn't have a YouTube channel. But he does participate in the Small Engine Velocity uh, Discord channel. I'll leave a link below. Uh, it's a chat channel where we talk, and uh, there's a lot of ruckus people in there. We all talk about uh, ruckuses, our mods, when we have problems, issues, our new projects, and stuff like that. There's also a phone app that you can join it through there's a discord phone app that you can use to participate in the channels too um so if you want you can get on there and ask questions directly to him in real time which is really great because he's on there a lot he's a really good guy uh keep up the good work and info man expect a response please well this is your response it's more than i normally would do for someone's for someone's question but i, I thought it was reasonable enough to give you a better explanation and a video explanation Thanks, P.S. You got a thumbs up, bro. Cool. But did I get a subscribe? Anyways, 
Uh, Rosie Townsend. The next question is from Matt Scohole. He said, I live in Michigan too. I live in Michigan too. And lately I've found myself riding my ruckus almost every day with temps in the 30s, which is crazy because to me that's like the coldest it gets in Texas. I find I can stay pretty warm with layered clothing, a down jacket and gloves, but after about 15 minutes, I start to get chilly. That is exactly the same situation with me too. Um, I have that thick jacket that my brother loaned me and it's great. You know, like you're riding and, and you're not getting cold and you're like, wow, this is great. But eventually that heat wafts off of your body and then you start to get really cold or you start to get chilly. Uh, my ride is about 30 minutes, so by the time I'm done in 30 minutes, I get pretty cold. But yeah, I'm glad that you can get out, you can ride, uh, and especially in Michigan, because that's like one of those places where when it gets cold, you put your stuff away. Uh, next comment, Project CRX 1991, he has been around forever. He's been around since the beginning of the live chats, uh, which I'll make a video about live chat eventually. Uh, sounds like your blinker is clicking really fast. Oh, he's talking about my car. Sounds like your clicker is blinking really fast, and on most cars, if you have a blinker bulb out, you may need to check it to be safe. So what he's saying is normally when there's a bulb out, a resistance is lower, so the uh, relay clicks faster. And that's true, but in this car, I replaced the front blinkers with LED bulbs, and those LEDs, LEDs have a lower resistance, just like in the Ruckus, whenever you change your to LED bulbs, you have to change that relay. Uh, it blinks incredibly fast. I've checked it several times and it is not broken, but thank you for your concern. Thank you for safety, because safety is always important. Last one is from Cypress Rider, who coincidentally is also going to Florida next week to go to the exact same place. So hopefully I'll run into him. It says, looks like it was a beautiful day in the neighborhood I was expecting to wear a Mr. Rogers type Christmas sweater. Oh, okay, this is the video where I was wearing the sweater and I was sitting outside and I said, don't make fun of me for my Mr. Rogers sweater. Anywho, what's up with the haircut place, dude? I went to a different haircut place. Uh, I, I, I ran into him at a $5 haircut place that we always go to. <laughs> You're not going to the spot anymore. I might just unsubscribe. Just kidding. He'll have fun at the Christmas party, have a better clip of that one guy girl that gets wasted <laughs> at an office party there was no one that was wasted this time actually someone got fired once because i got too wasted at the christmas party uh but the haircut place i go to now well is i still go to the regular five dollar place but whenever i go to a special event i go ahead and get a haircut at the uh the twelve dollar place because they they cut it they take more time they wash your hair they 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 do all sorts of different things, and then they'll style it for you, too. But anyways, that was Cypress Rider, also a big time. He's also a uh, Patreon for the channel, so that's great. Well, those are the five comments that I have, so uh, I'll be doing this. I'll, I'll throw a couple of, like, one of these in, uh, in every video uh, across the vlog, because this is kind of fun, answering people's questions or just really commenting on what people are saying. Anyways, sorry for the short video, but I got a Christmas ride after work, and there is no way that I can work on it, so I have to make sure that I complete it now. But anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for the fifth day of Vlogmas. Hopefully, I will see you again in the next video, and if you watched this far, I really appreciate you, and I will see you next time.